Welcome to a series of tutorials in Blackmagic Fusion or the Fusion tab of DaVinci Resolve. I'm starting out simple with custom scene transitions that take the picture apart, just like the transitions you see here. So let's jump right in. If you want to follow along with me, you can download this DaVinci Resolve project from my website as a DaVinci Resolve project archive and can import it together with all the footage and then you can look at each of my example transitions in detail. I am about to build one of these transitions from scratch, but before I do this, let me explain to you a little bit what you're seeing here. So I have created these five transitions. All of them have one thing in common, and that is that I'm using masks and animate them. The first one is very simple. It just uses five circular masks, and the masks are animated to expand over time. That is already the complete transition. The others do a little bit more. The second one also uses a circular mask here on the side, and this mask is being animated. At the same time, I'm sliding in the footage from below. So the footage is uh, being moved in just a simple transform. So it's flying in and at the same time the mask is being animated. And this is also what I'm showing you in a second. The third transition here, same principle. So the swans together with the mask here uh, are being pushed in from the side. And one more thing I had to do in this transition is I'm using a slight color correction. So you can see that the water here has different color than here. And to make the transition smooth, I have uh, color corrected it here. And then over the last few frames, the color correction is uh, animated with a blend to give a smooth transition uh, to the next clip. In this one here, again, a mask and a transform to fly in the clouds. And then at the end, again, the same masks and transform. And I'm creating these boxes here using a duplicate 2D node. So let's look at the Fusion example. Rather than showing you from here, let me go to the beginning and build one. So this is the timeline I started with. So this one doesn't have any Fusion comp. I'm just using some fades just to see how the transitions will work out. And this is what I recommend always doing. Before you go into Fusion with whatever effect you want to make, map it out in the timeline so that you are fairly certain about the timing of your effect and where you want it and how long it will be. You can change Fusion effects afterwards, but it might get tricky if you do a lot of animation in Fusion and then afterwards you want to change something in the timeline, it, it will get messy. So I advise not to do this. Instead, I'm starting here. Uh, with a mapped out transition. To have only the stuff in Fusion that I really want to work on, I'm just clipping it off here using the blade tool, or you can um, use the split. And then I am uh, selecting both of these clips, right click and select new Fusion clip. This sends both of these clips automatically together into Fusion. Heading over to Fusion, I now see that they are already being merged together. And I can look at these clips. So the uh, top one here, this is actually the background, is are the, the swans and the clouds are in the foreground. So normally I like to have the foreground above the background just for organization. So let me move them on top. And what I want to do now is I want to mask out these clouds in Fusion and for this I'm using a B spline. So this is the B spline, which is the smooth mask. And let me deselect it for a second so that I can see what I'm actually masking. And now I will just mask out a shape like maybe like this and take some clouds from here. So this is the, the cloud section that I want to start with. Let me connect it again to see what it looks like in the combination. This is how it's like. 
the edge is obviously a bit hard, so let's give it a, a good softness. So, and we can already see how it looks like over the merge. Over the merge, I have my clouds like this. Now that's the first part. Now I want to start with the animation. First, I want to fly in the clouds and then I want to animate them in a way that they quickly cover the whole frame. So I have all in all, I have 30 frames here. So over the first, let's say 20 frames, I can do the movement. So I go to my, my end position here and I'm animating the center. For this, I can right click here and animate. Now I go, what I see, what automatically happened is that I got a keyframe on this frame number 20. I see it here by this indicator and I see it in the timeline by the right tick mark. Let me go to the beginning of the clip at frame zero and now I just move the center somehow out of the frame, maybe until here. And now if I play it back, I have an animation already until this point. The second point now, I want to expand the mask all over the frame. And in order to not have anything ab abrupt, I will start this a bit earlier, maybe already at frame 15. I want to start to animate the mask. So I can just go to the mask and the animation of the shape of this mask is controlled here. So right click for shape animation, let's do that. And let me set a key. I'm now setting here a key for this shape animation at frame 15. And let me go to the end. And now I have to uh, expand this so that I'm covering the full frame. So I will just quickly do this by hand and I will just move these points out a bit. And let me do this a bit in accelerated speed. Okay, I don't want to move them too far out because otherwise my mask is expanding too quickly. But this should maybe do it. Let me have a look at it. Yeah, and this is the effect. Now if I really want to, I can make things a lot smoother and so on. But I think as a quick demonstration, I believe this is enough for me right now. So let me have a look directly in full screen. And this is the, my final effect. Okay, this was really quick and simple. Feel free to look at the other transitions as well or come up with your own ideas how you can use masks and simple animations for some scene transitions. And with this, I'm wrapping up the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I plan on releasing more on a weekly basis, so stay tuned on my channel for more to come. Thanks for watching. See you next time.